Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Blender video editing tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to look at basically uh, manipulating or editing, cutting, moving, uh, splicing together, uh, video clips, audio clips, just basic stuff. I'm going to try to keep each one of these tutorials short and simple, focused on just one thing. So whatever you're looking for, you can find in that clip. So let's get right to that. All right, we're in that screen again, the splash screen or whatever you want to call it. And again, you just click out here somewhere to get out of it. Um, we're going to go straight into the video editing. So file, new, video editing. Uh, in the last video, I did show you how to import video clips. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can check out uh, the previous tutorial and I'll link to that in the description. But uh, to get started here, we're just going to bring in a clip. So we'll go add movie. Uh, go to desktop and I'm going to bring in, um, let's see, one video we just did here not too long ago and add that in. Okay, now um, as far as cutting clips, now a lot of things in Blender depend on how fast your system is. I don't have a particularly fast system, like 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is not great for video editing, um, but I will go ahead and show you how to. Uh, cut and splice and move and all that stuff in this video and in the next video we'll talk about how to um, up performance or make it easier to um, work with video files in depending on what your system has in it so anyway I got this in here now a um, few of the things I usually do is I will make a uh, waveform for my audio clip so I can left click on that and we'll go over here to the side in this menu over here and scroll down till we get right in this sound section it's right uh right here and i'll just click on draw waveform quick and simple it does what it needs to do so you can see where the audio lays and that's useful when you're editing things that you want synced with sound correctly okay so we're going to move the end marker which is right here we're going to move that down here and i showed in the last video that you can drag uh, grab here down in the corner and drag and move that and you'll see that that uh, subsequently moves that bar but you can also click out here towards your end uh, right click and it will drop where you need to be now if you want to be at the very end of the video clip you can hit page down on your keyboard and it will drop it right back to the very very end of that clip and then you can see down here it tells you exactly where that clip is or where the end of that clip is so you can set the end marker to that by clicking here just left clicking and entering that number and hitting enter and it will set it directly on that and then it will not pet it will not play past that mark okay so as far as cutting clips if you want to keep your audio and video together and you're you're not going to do any kind of manipulating you can do a few things one you can just uh, select multiple clips so you could uh, left click one hold shift left click the other and then you'll be able to uh, cut those splice and move them do everything you want together um, if you're not going to be manipulate anything like transforming or adjusting on the layers you can uh, make these a meta strip which we'll get into that more too but for now I would recommend that you just cut them together by left left click shift left click and then you can work with those now if you want to cut regardless of what method you use whether it be the meta strip or <clears throat> or the shift method uh, you can cut with K simple as that it cuts it both are independently cut now. And then one other thing you can do, we'll control Z to undo all that. Okay, easy peasy. Now, another thing you can do is <clears throat> select both with the shift and left click. And then that was a soft cut. I think that's what it's called, a soft cut, which you can still move. Uh, let me show you again, if you hit K. So now if I drag this clip away, I can move this clip by clicking on here and dragging it back and forth and you see that it just it's basically just extending the original okay so the other thing you can do get this back to where it was is called a hard cut I do believe I don't know what the actual terminology is for video editing but that's what I call it is hold shift and K and that performs a hard cut. Now you see when we move this up, 
that now I cannot drag that past where it is. This end will still move, that will not. And that goes for the video clip too. You see it drag past, but it's not really dragging past. It, it'll be uh, almost invisible if you can see that right there. So there's nothing actually there other than the original video clip. So that's how you cut. Now you saw me moving things around. Um, that is done by left clicking. So you can just move anything by left clicking. You can move multiple things by holding shift and clicking and moving. I'm sorry, shift, click both, and then hit G, and then you can move those things around, whatever you need to use that for. So as far as moving clips around, splicing them together, that's pretty much it. The one last thing I wanna say is that you can uh, line up clips right against each other by overlapping them, and they will completely merge. You see the outside border of that turns red. If you hold le or left click, hold, drag over the top of it, and let go, it'll lock up perfectly, end for end with what you drug it over. So that's pretty much it. That's how you move things around in here, uh, how you cut them, how you can splice them together. Uh, we'll go a little bit more in depth with that as we go, but that's just the basics of how you can cut, move, and I call it splice. So just remember those shortcut keys on your keyboard are K for a soft cut and shift K for a hard cut. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope this whole series is, has been helpful thus far, not that we're very far into it. Um, but make sure you check out the first video if you haven't seen it yet, and stay tuned for future videos where we'll go even more in depth and look at other aspects of Blender uh, 2.8 and its video editing feature. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.